I'm Adrian Govriel. Vaccine certificates, it's a controversial topic. Recently, we shared with you how people are using counterfeit proof of vaccination to enter sports events, concerts, bars and restaurants. And now City News has spoken with one individual who's made nearly 100 fake certificates. And the policy coming out of Queen's Park is being criticized by some, noting the multiple loopholes. If we know there's fraud within the system, we do have an obligation to do everything we can you know, to maximize the safety and well-being of the public. In October, Ontario officially launched its temporary QR code vaccine certificate. It's a tough system to counterfeit because when your unique QR code is scanned as you enter a venue, your name shows up on the vendor's screen. You then have to show a matching piece of government-issued ID. However, the Ford government has refused to mandate their Made in Ontario QR code program, instead allowing the old pre-QR code certificate, which can easily be tampered with, to remain. If you don't have a QR code, if you have the certificate, that works too. It's not mandatory you have this QR code as long as you show proof of uh, certification. That has left the door wide open for forgery to take place province-wide. The counterfeiter City News spoke with is using the old pre-QR code paperwork as a template to create dozens of fake vaccine certificates. Using Adobe Photoshop, all they have to do is insert a client's name and date of birth to match their ID. Because there's no QR code for the old certificates, creating a fake is as simple as that. There is clearly fraud within the system. What are we doing to protect the safety and well-being of citizens? Ontario's medical officer of health has previously said if he sees more evidence of proof of vaccine fraud, he'll recommend that Ontario move to a QR code only system. Over the last two weeks, we've tried to follow up with the province's top doctor. The Ford government hasn't made Dr. Moore available to City News. I'd love to hear a counter-argument. I don't know what that would be. City News spoke with a prominent infectious disease expert, an epidemiologist, and a bioethicist. They agree. If the system's broken and it does appear to be, uh, yeah, I, I do think the priority should be to fix this. That if you want this to work, you've got to actually have a system that people respect. You take a step back and you think, like, you know, what did you do during one of Canada's greatest crises and the, probably the biggest crisis of our, our crisis of our generation. I faked a vaccine certificate and went to a Raptors game. Some medical experts we spoke with say until the provincial government closes this loophole, Ontario's vaccine certificate program will be nothing more than political theater with minimal benefit to public health. I'm Adrian Gobriel for City News.